Hi, and welcome back to remote data monitoring. We are now coming into training unit three, and this is going to focus on industrial control systems and their communications, um, both inside the factory and getting data out to the open world. My name is Dr. Liam Moore. I'm from the Munster Technological University based in Cork in Ireland. This training unit has been brought via the Remain project, which was funded under the Erasmus framework, framework by the European Commission. So the objective within this training unit overall is to understand current methods of communications and control systems within the industrial environment and look kind of forward facing into the IoT era and Industry 4.0 to see what communications methodologies might be um, used uh, in the future. We're going to, the training unit is split into three subunits. Uh, this unit is going to focus on training unit 3.1 which is internal data communications within the factory itself. So internal data communications within the factory. The objective here, understand how data transfer and control operations occur within the factory environment. So we will look at the current setups within the factory environment, the differentiator between various um, communications channels, uh, depending on what type of process control you're doing. So broadly speaking, factory automation can be broken into two broad categories from a communications protocol perspective. You have process automation and control and factory automation and control. Process automation um, is focused, I suppose, on the individual processes within the factory and the factory automation tries to take a holistic view. At a high level, the two uh, may seem very similar, or the differences might seem very subtle, uh, but the fundamentals uh, and the fundamental differences are, uh, are there. With process automation and control, there's a focus on the individual parts of the overall process. Sensors, PLCs controlling individual process steps, for example, a clean line, a CNC, laser processing machine, whatever it might be, these would be an example of individual process automation. We're trying to automate part coming into, let's say, a clean line to the part coming out of the clean line. Um, you have your sensors, your actuators in place on that particular process, and that's being controlled at the local level via uh, a PLC. Focusing on the smaller range, and it's broadly described as the PLC to the individual process control. So PLC is your individual controller and you have all the process components communicating back to that PLC. So you need a communications framework within the process talking back to the PLC. Numerous ways can be done to do that um, and numerous ways are employed to do it. At the basic level, you have general input and output into the PLC um, where it might be a binary on off type of communication. But Typically, there is more advanced protocols. You'd have protocols such as Profinet, Modbus, Profibus. These would be all advanced digital protocols that would enable smart sensors, such as inductive sensors, uh, conductivity sensors, or whatnot, communicating back over wires to the PLC um, using a digital protocol. If you're familiar with, these, uh, with the operational uh, environment and the process-based environment, you would be fairly familiar with the protocols listed below. We're not going to go into a lot of detail on these local protocols. Just be aware they exist and they are a method that PLCs can be used to communicate to individual process components. One step above, I suppose, individual process or process control is industrial control or the factory automation. And this is the scaling up of individual process automation into one larger holistic control management system. You're managing and monitoring all the processes within the factory environment, um, and if need, uh, needs be, uh, arranging your scheduling and arranging uh, coordination between these processes. It can be a fixed or flexible setup and generally can be from the PLC level up, uh, but there is the ability to get data from individual process components if they're needed from a higher level factory automation or industrial control perspective. Protocols here include OPC UA and MT Connect uh, with a range of others, but OPC UA, I suppose, is the one we will focus on a lot um, 
within the context of these training units as it is becoming fast becoming a factory default uh, for the factory automation and industrial control side of things. Here is a, I suppose, rough diagram of what the two uh, communication spaces look like and how they interact with each other. As mentioned, at the bottom level, you have your individual devices, um, all connected to various sensors, actuators, whatever it might be. These are communicating using their Profinet or Profibus or Modbus interfaces back to a PLC. That PLC aggregates the data uh, from these sensors, takes local control decisions if it needs to, and implements those control decisions. But also whatever data else is required is going to be tagged and sent via OPC UA up into a server such as Kepware. So previous images, just, just to reassess that the you see the factory assets communicating with the controllers via various low level protocols. The controllers communicate with the central server, utilizing in this case the OPC UA interface, which could be around a number of protocols, um, but for simplicity, we showed OPC UA. And then sitting on top of that is Kepware, uh, Kepware server. This is a type of automation middleware that can manage all devices of the control space and also communicate upwards into the IT space. So Kepware server is, is a, as mentioned, a middleware. It can talk a number of various protocols, a number of various languages, and can be used to aggregate an interface with all the factory data and send that off into the IT space as well. So that's just a brief overview of the uh, inter in internal factory communication setup and how it might look like. Um, we're going to carry on in the next training unit. We will look further into OPC UA and uh, factory-based